Hey guys, that monkey are back here for another video. Welcome back to another episode of Sniping Series with that Mike Gamer. Guys, in this episode we have a lot to talk about. So as you can see right now, I'm just trying to snipe some elite badges. The thing about elite badges is if they go below, let's say 15k, you want to buy as many as you possibly can. Definitely, that's the best bet right now. With elite badges can, could literally make you so many coins if you invest into them at a certain point. Now, right now, they're about 21 to 24K. Now, this depends if you should invest in them or not right now because, obviously, they probably will go back up to 26K. But if they do drop down to, let's say, 15K, you could honestly make a killing off of them if they're down at 15k and if you invest all your coins in right now when they're up you know at 21k then there's no point to then you're just, you're just losing coins pretty much or you're losing as many coins as you could possibly make so remember that guys that for right now i don't think it's in a dire need to invest in them but maybe later on it's definitely something that you could um you guys could think about it because later on when they're down to 15k they're going to go back up you know, in the near uh, near future. That's just a uh, actual guarantee. Because um, MVP sets come out, different other other different sets come out, and as they come out, that's pretty much gonna be the biggest thing is elite badges are probably gonna be needed for those sets because of how difficult it is to get them with you know how bad the pack luck is, elite badges will be very, very important again. So just remember guys, investing to them could really make you a lot of coins. Um, obviously, you know, but no one knows all this stuff. No one knows how much are they going to go down, how much are going to go up. But a little, um, qu a comment I got, when it comes to sniping players, guys, I said this before, and I think it was kind of misunderstood. What you want to do is take the, uh, so you, let's say the cheapest player is 20K, and then the next cheapest player is 40K. Take 40k, or let's say the cheapest player is, is 20k for this per certain position. Take 20k, times it by 0.10, which is 2,000 coins. That means any card that you buy that's under 18,000 coins, because you take 20 minus 2,000, any card you buy under 20,000 or 18,000 coins will be a profit. Because, guys, what you have to remember is if you subtract uh, the tax you lose from the actual price of the card, that's the coin you're making back because any call any uh you, if you sell your card for anything less than after tax money then you're making those coins back so you have to remember that so for example if you know i buy a car for 20k and i sell it or, or i mean not 20k the car goes to 20k and i buy it for 15k i'm only making 3k profit you might say you might be saying why not five because tax in this game is 10 percent so you lose 2k of tax when I sell it back for 20k, but I do still get 3k from it. So remember when you're sniping, if you take the next highest price of the card, times it by 0.10, and if you're not making a profit on selling that card, do not even risk taking the snipe because you're not going to make coins. And obviously you can make, to your own judgments, or pretty much how you can orient it if you want to go for a um, certain snipe. So for example, if it's um, what's it called. So for example, if it's a lot of coins or little coins, if it's only 250 coins, that's up to you guys if you guys want to go for that snipe or not. So next one we we'll talk about is quick, a large quick sales or quick sales, I guess. You could call them small quick sales. I know I heard uh, X Y Number Five call them small quick sales, but those is awful. And I've heard a lot of YouTubers, not only him, but a lot of YouTubers. He opened up 10 uh, quick sell bundle, if you guys have not seen that. Or quick, 10 quick sell packs. If you guys have not seen that, go over to his channel, XY915. Check it out. But I've seen a lot of other people open up packs to these large quick sales. They're getting 1, 2, 3, maybe 4K possible. Now, it only t costs 20K to do the whole set. So you might be saying, oh, well, that's not that bad. It only cost you 20K. In previous years and this earlier this year, it cost you 30K and then 40K up to 60K in previous years. Crazy. This year, it's the cheapest. But the reason why it's the cheapest, guys, is because pack luck is the worst this year. If you guys have not seen my uh, episode, where I literally just the whole entire episode, I opened up badge packs. 
go back on this on my channel check out a series i i mean in this series an episode in the series i think it was like episode 17 or 18 why well, literally just opened up bad packs i pulled bronzes after bronzes after bronzes i didn't pull one gold or elite out of like let's say seven or eight ten badge packs it was crazy guys so honestly the pack luck this year is so freaking bad that you cannot make coins by doing typical methods of open the badges because it was like you know previous years it was the whole concept oh yeah if you get all bronzes you're gonna lose coins and you know what are the odds you get all bronzes this year it's wow you got a gold out of like a hundred badge pack openings you're lucky in previous years it wasn't like that obviously i know why because in previous years the badge packs were they had a better chance at pulling a gold call a gold a badge or a elite badge whatever silver bronze and then bronze actually went up in previous years because of that but just the fact of the matter is everything is so much different this year guys you have to be so careful when it comes to opening up badges because badges on badge packs are not worth it anymore any kind of packs in this game are not worth it so for example buying pro packs even that to some extent might not be worth it but it's the best thing we have right now badge packs are awful uh premium packs awful game changer packs awful as i as i showed you guys those 80k packs i uploaded i i believe i uploaded to the channel all those pack openings i didn't even, i think the most i pulled out of each one was like 15 to 20k so that's this example obviously i had the ability to pull up to you know 100k and yes they were free packs but let's pretend i did spend money on those packs right and i actually spent money i got 15 to 20k back on an 80k pack that's freaking awful i didn't make what is that like 20 40 60. that's one fourth of the profit i made back on the pack guys pack luck this year is just insane like in previous years ever since man 13 pack luck was crazy it was ev almost every other pack you pulled you pulled an elite or a 99 overall player or 96 at least you know it was crazy you were pulling legends all the time man 25 it kind of diminished and we kind of saw a little bit of pack luck not being that great now obviously pack luck was still decent it was okay you know you pulled your typical elites every like five or six pro packs no big deal then Madden 15 came around and the whole table turned it was like okay you could pull a bundle and not and pull one elite that's it one elite in a bundle which if you're playing this year you're just like what like you pull an elite in a bundle yeah you kind of um uh you somewhat pulled an elite in a bundle um, although Madden 15 did have, I think it was Madden 25 and Madden 15, they actually guaranteed, they had bundle toppers. Yeah, they had bundle toppers for pro packs. Something that they don't have this year is, um, you know, you open a pro pack bundle, that's it. Back in the day, Madden 15, Madden 25, you actually had bundle toppers for opening up pro pack bundles. So it wasn't just a guaranteed, you know, store promo at the time. It was you open up a bundle a pro pack and you actually will receive back a uh, free elite player i believe it was like i think it was like uh 15 pro packs you got like a late player uh 50 you got like two and then three and then four obviously the more pro packs you open the better the top it was but that was back in madden like 15 and 16 and pack luck was actually decently good and then we had madden 16 <laughs> It took away the bundle toppers for pro packs. They all together just ruined the fact of pack odds. And I thought I remember going from Madden 15, Madden uh, 15 to 16, thinking, "Wow, maybe the pack odds will change this year." And they just went so so bad. And then we had Madden 17, <laughs> where literally you have a chance, you have a better chance of finding a hundred dollar bill outside your house at this moment in time right now than you do of pulling an elite now don't get me wrong guys uh so far this year i've not spent any money on the game and i uh have pulled over 300 to 400 packs now if you guys can guess how many elites i pulled i'll, I'll let i'll give you 10 seconds or, or five seconds and comment down below and tell me how many elites you think i pulled out of 300 packs this year and I did not spend money on the game, guys. I 
got them from solos, from different type of, you know, draft champion packs. Obviously, I've played 170 games online, so I got a lot of draft champion packs. So guess down below real fast. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Did you take a guess? Well, guys, I pulled one elite out of those 300 packs. And yes, I guess you could say the concept of, I pulled a legend. If you guys did not see my legend pack opening, check it out on my channel. I did pull a legend, and I am very thankful. I actually, my, my only elite out of 300 packs, right, is a legend. Like, what are the odds of that? They have to honestly have, like, the worst odds in history of, yeah, the only elite I ever pulled was a legend. So, definitely nice to see that. But other than that, I haven't pulled anything, like... I don't even get those 80 overall plus uh, elites. I mean, sorry, golds. And it kind of, I know the funny concept about being YouTuber is like, YouTubers get juice packs. Nah, no, nah, we don't, guys. We do not get juice packs. I'm guaranteeing you that right now. <laughs> Obviously, um, I don't know how the whole pack look looks. Obviously, it could just be typical. It's random for everybody. Maybe if certain people spend too much, a uh, certain money on the game, their pack luck goes up. I have no idea how pack luck works. Um, you, if you guys have any ideas, you can c comment down below and tell me. But yeah, so that's pretty much my rant for pack luck in this episode, guys. Remember um, to check out my online gameplays. So once again, this is my schedule. Every Sunday will be an auction lock video where we pretty much uh, create a whole entire team based on your guys' feedback. So comment down below in this video. You can do it in this video right here. And comment down below and tell me what players you want to see me use for next Monday through Saturday um, gameplays. So pretty much every Sunday is a new auction lock video. Uh, Monday through Saturday will be online gameplay where I take the team I created in the auction block and I play online with them. So if you guys are new to this series and if you guys want to check it out, it's, it's on my channel. And then you can just watch. The, we spent a million coins last Sunday on my auction block video, guys. So definitely if you want to see someone spend a million coins a month, go check it out. I mean, honestly, it was a very hurtful thing for me because if you guys do not know, I love stacking coins. So the fact that I spent a million. I did it for you guys. And hopefully you guys did enjoy that. And remember, uh, after Monday through Saturday online gameplays, Monday or, sorry, my bad, Saturday through Thursday, I have a um, Friday night draft series going where I draft, I show you guys drafts from that Friday night for the next, like, five days. And, you know, we're trying to get an 85 overall. That's our main goal. Other than that, guys, there's so many other videos I come out with every single day. So, updates and everything like that. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're about to hit 1,000 subscribers, and I will be doing a giveaway, most likely. I, I don't know what I'm going to be giving away. I don't know what I'm going to do. Or maybe not giveaway. I might do something else. Definitely comment down below also. What do you think I should do for 1,000 subscribers? Because I was thinking about doing a giveaway. I might do like a two-hour video or maybe like a really long video of me playing different games more than just, you know... Um, what's it called more than just what I'm doing now, like just playing Madden. I might play some Madden games and maybe do uncut videos and stuff like that. I was thinking about a whole bunch of ideas. Definitely give your feedback down below if you have any ideas on what I should do. Um, I sadly cannot live stream, so please do not comment down below and tell me that I can't live stream currently at my location right now for obvious reasons of you know, I just can't. So definitely do not comment that, but anything else you definitely can comment and, you know, give your feedback, give your ideas on what you um, want me to do for a thousand subscribers. We are 70, I think 74 away, no 64 away. So also remember guys, if you can, and you don't have to do this, it would all just be amazing if you could share my channel with your friends, share my channel on your Twitter, you know, tweet out maybe, Hey, you liked my video, or if you did like my video, you know, just Get my channel out there because I'm trying my best to grow this best community out there. And obviously, the bigger the community is, the more feedback we're going to get. And the more int the more uh, fun videos are going to be. Because the more people in here means the more people that we can come together and really enjoy making, you know, having mutt videos and Madden videos overall. So, definitely, if you guys are enjoying my channel and if this is your first video on my channel... Once again, man, thank you so much for being here, and hopefully you do subscribe because it's going to be awesome, guys. 
and we're going to be having a great year this year. Hopefully, we'll all make a million coins by the end of this year, and that's my overall goal, of course, is a lot of ideas I have on how to make a lot of coins. And if you guys did not see my videos last year, I have actual proof. I made, by using my tips, 9 million coins last year. All the way up to like 18 million possibly because of the fact that I did make a couple mistakes. But, you know, if I didn't make a couple mistakes and invest into some stupid things, I will always give you the safe investments, guys, and then the risky investments. The only reason I can't give you anything right now is because there's nothing right now other than elite badges. And I'm starting to think that's a safe investment, but wait until they drop to 15k. So remember, guys, if you can, sh shout out my uh, YouTube, you know, sh share it around to different social media websites. Let's make something awesome on this channel, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, like for more videos. I don't know why I keep, I always say rate, comment, subscribe, and I don't think you can rate anymore. That was back in the old days. So please like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.